Also guys, uh, since Alpha 16 just released, I'm thinking of doing this whole week just Alpha 16 videos. And then the next week I'll continue my forest videos. Hey guys and welcome back to episode 3. As you guys can see we're back in the server that we played first episode. And the reason for that is I think we're just going to go back to the basics. No bots or... Uh, Stuff like, for example, there was that bot on the uh, second episode server. We can teleport around, and that makes the game a little bit too easy. So I think for now we're just gonna keep it this way. Um, I actually considered making this a f uh, single-player game, but I decided against that. So if you guys want to join me on the server, uh, let me know, and I'll give you the password to the server. As you guys can see, I broke through that door. I think I mean uh, those of you that saw episode two. I <laughs> I tried breaking through and just one or two shots, all of a sudden I was hunted and there was a lady in here. As you can see, my health is now 66. It was actually down to 9. Okay, so, let's just see where are we going to go today. On the one hand, I actually want to go to the hub over here and start building. But I need a weapon first so I can at least deal with the dogs. So let's try going up. We need to make sure that we find as many feathers as we can at the moment. Also, I need to level up faster. So that I can assign points to my tool smithing and weapon smithing. It's weird, usually we wouldn't have spent any points in those and now you need to spend points in those. Oops, vulture already. Have to make sure that they don't spot me. We haven't been to this one before. It's still weird not seeing any zombies outside. So you, s except for this one. Except for Alpha 15. Also this server is also nice because there's no lag. Just need to make sure that I conserve as much ammo as possible. Wow, this guy's tough. Zombie farmer, he could have fooled me. I need to conserve my ammo since I will need it for the vultures. Wakey, wakey. Let's see, can we see anyone from here? One sleeping over there. And is there anyone else? There's a few zombies in here, damn. Damn, I missed my chance. I need to make sure that he doesn't attack me while I'm busy with these zombies. There's one over there as well. We need to keep our ears open. Every time they fly down like that, I'm afraid that they have actually spotted me. Now that was a bad shot for him. Okay, no one else in here? I'm just cautious since that one army guy spawned out of nowhere. Guys, remember when looting this place? Look on top of the cupboards. There's a bird's nest to the right and a cooking pot to the left. I think the one... I also actually missed the cooking pot. Okay, let's keep going. Bird's nest and a zombie. Wait, where that area is? For a moment I lost sight of the zombie. With the amount of health I have now, I need to be careful uh, for s uh, snakes and wolves and stuff. I can't afford to take a hit. Oh, huh, dust storm. Sandstorm. She's way down there, so there's no need to actually go towards her. If she was in our path, I'd actually go for her. Having played the previous episode on that uh, little bit of a lag server, um, it's actually weird opening stuff in instantly in this server. Okay, please don't tell me you're coming to me. You know, he's going away. But we have to go in that direction, so we're going to have to face him. Let's just keep running and hope he doesn't spot us. 
Also guys, uh, since Alpha 16 just released, I'm thinking of doing this whole week just Alpha 16 videos. And then the week after that, I'll next week, I'll continue my forest videos. But I actually want to hear from you guys. Do you want to see more of my forest videos or aren't you interested in that at all? Because I don't want to make content and then put it out and get bad views uh, because you guys aren't interested in it. That's exactly why I want to ask you guys directly. Stand still. Stand still, stand still, stand still. Come on. Almost. I'm so used that one shot kills the chicken that two actually surprises me. Okay, since we've entered the plains biome again, we need to be careful for wolves. Come on, stop moving. This plains biome looks so much more dreary than Alpha 15's one. That's why I can keep confusing it with the burnt biome. Especially since they added trees to the plains. Okay, so what's that over there? Just a dead spot. Just probably the clay, uh, clay color from a distance. Damn it, I didn't even notice him. I thought he was a pile of trash. If these guys are so pers uh, persistent, I don't even know how persistent the die wolves are. <laughs> they actually gave me a big fright. I thought it was a, a garbage bag that I could loot. For some weird reason, I'm stuttering tonight. I think they made everything, the texture so dark, so that you can't tell the wool from the grass. So, I mean, that really looked like a trash bag to me, and it was a wolf. Let's just do this. Nothing seems to be moving, but then again, they only start spawning once you get close to them. If this isn't on a hill, I'm actually considering taking over this base. I want my base to be on a flat ground. Let's see what's behind here. Nope, too much of a hill area. Okay, now I need to look for birds' nests. But it's all of a sudden so hard to tell the bird nest from the flooring and the plains biome. Okay, there's one sleeping over there and I seem to have seen one in the corner. Let's see if we can get them without them actually knowing where we are. Nope, not gonna happen. Damn it. Come on. You almost got me. I like how they made this guy so pale. It looks like a six on me. And so that guy's on top. One hit kill. Fat guy over there. It's weird how some of them stand up and the rest don't. Just need to canvas this whole area. There might be. And here as well. Yep. That's my worst nightmare. Opening a door in such a small space and then having to fight a zombie. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any more downstairs. You can see the zombies are still a little bit bugged, the fact that they're standing still like that. Bullseye! Were you the only ones? Please tell me yes. Okay, no zombies on the deck. Did the other one fall off? I'll need to be careful. I heard a noise from upstairs, and now that I came upstairs, these two are sleeping. So the other one must have fell down. Oh no, here yeah, is. Too bad you can't shoot through a door like that. I mean, you can see his whole body, but you can't hit him. I 
just have to wait for that drawback of his. He must have been the guy that was upstairs. Also guys, uh, in that previous uh, server that I played in episode 2, uh, I found a bug where the zombies actually respawn in the sleeper positions. Because I went into my friend's base while he was offline and the sleepers respawned, even though he had his sleeping bag down. So you guys just uh, need to be careful for that. I have to mark this as forge, because it's going to take way too long to break up the forge now. I wonder if it's even still pos uh, possible to tell up. I wonder if it's still possible to pick up the forges. I'm <laughs> even mixing my languages now. Ooh, paint. Awesome. Uh, let's just do this. Wait, there's a 50 year. Why do I have this one still? Okay, so we can eat this. Grab that and grab that. Okay, I'm actually running out of space now, damn. Just make sure that I've looted everything. Bookcase, yes. Okay, what can I drop? Uh, let's eat everything we can to make some space and then drop everything else. Since we have corn, we don't need the seeds. I don't know if we need empty cans yet, so I don't want to scrap them uh, for no reason. But let's keep going up. I actually need to make sure that I keep my yucca fruit on me so that I can actually run away from anything that chases me. If I run out of stamina, I'm screwed. Also guys, I've noticed in my previous video that sometimes I talk loudly and other times it's way too soft. And I am really trying to work on that so that you guys can hear me properly. I'm just going to keep running. If I hear a growling noise, then I know I have to run faster. Damn. What's up with these hills? I wonder what the farmer zombies are doing way out here. But then again, that uh, explains the lack of housing and towns. And get you, get you, get you. I've never actually been a fan of close range melee fighting, but since the club saved my life that one episode, or off camera, I'm actually grown attached to melee weapons. Especially on servers where there's no lag. Now, this is a weird slope. It's like two pieces just coming together in the middle of nowhere. Yep, see, it's a ridge. And now I wonder which way should I follow the ridge. I just crouch, check the map. Okay, so I said the hub is this way. So let's just keep going until we see the hub and then we can turn back. So I just want to know exactly where the hub starts. Then as soon as we have guns we can go and make a base over there. And so I actually also want you guys to uh, join the server so you can help me go to the hub. It's easier to face the hub in teams than beginning. I just heard a zombie, but I can't see it. What is up with these snakes? He's so far away, yet he saw me instantly. I think their ter uh, territory programming is messed up. They shouldn't attack you from so far away. But at least you can hear them, so that's a plus sign. Wait, why do I keep missing this guy? Did he bleed out just now? No. Switch we weapons. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so I actually need to go and read the notes and see what animals they actually added and which uh, zombies and prefabs they added. Because I actually haven't done that yet. I'm just going to make a straight dash to the hub from here. And then any paths, like for example the one down there, that we come across, uh, we'll explore later on. The fact that the ground is so weird, the, it's so hilly and there's ridges everywhere. I wonder if the random gen is actually fixed or not. This might be one of the bugs. Make some space quickly, come on, come on, come on. 
Also guys, you can make torches with animal fat. You don't need to uh, put it in the fire anymore. These roads seem so large. You actually expect traffic to come through. No, 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 no. What did I do? What did I do? That was almost a bad thing. I actually need to stay on this side so I can watch for nests. Okay, I want to kill that rabbit as well. If I don't see him again, it's not a train smash. The only bad thing about staying this side is there can be a wolf on the side. Over here, they need to climb first. Hello there, don't climb too high. Bullseye. And running away. What are these bikers doing in the middle of nowhere? This almost looks more like the bandits that they want to introduce uh, than uh, bikers and stuff like that. This guy's way too tough to use the shiv on. Then again, speaking of shivs, I must make one since my weapon smithing is a bit higher. So it's going to make a 50. Awesome. Just have to make sure that I don't run out of ammo. From the moment there, I thought it was a chicken. By the way, okay, so I have wood, stone, and feathers. I need more stone. So when I come across these cinder blocks, I need to destroy them. It would probably be faster just to go for the boulders. But then again, I'm going to be tempted to actually take down the whole boulder and it's going to waste time. Zombie up top. You see, I'm already missing these. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm actually curious to see how all the zombies look. Come on, and... Nope. You have to wait for your head to go back up again, or down all the way. But then you need to make sure that you actually shoot in that position. There. See, I keep missing to the left. So like I said guys, if you want to join me on the server and have some fun before they actually release the stable build, uh, let me do know down below in the comment section and I'll invite you on Steam. It'll actually be fun to play with other people on this server. That's actually what I intended to do with Schizo, but then he made his public server and he's having so much fun over there that I don't think he's going to join me over here soon. The only reason I haven't turned this into a single player yet is because I want to play with you guys as well. There's actually a ton of water over here. I actually wonder how many experimental builds they're going to have. Because this first one is going to have quite a few bugs that they have to fix. But after that, I wonder how many. Because last time with Alpha 15, I think there were like 5 or 6 experimentals. The only bad thing about the experimentals is you have to start over. But at least you get used to Alpha 16 by playing them, so it's actually a, a, it's to your advantage to try out Alpha 16 Experimental. I know you guys don't like starting over and all that, but it really is that much fun. So I saw a nest. At this rate, it looks like the city is going to be in the plains or desert. The biggest bug they need to fix is the fact that sleepers still spawn in your base. So, I mean, I can't, I just don't know if it's just because I went into the base and my sleeping bag wasn't there, but just imagine logging off, logging back in, and there's a sleeper waiting for you inside your protected base. Okay, let's see if I can allocate a few skills. 14 points. Okay, cool. I think we're going to go evenly with uh, the two. Wait, requirements? No requirements, so why can't I buy it? Oh, I can. Where was I looking? You can buy up here. So the next requirement is level 5. I am level 6. So, no, wait. Then why can't I? Oh, well. I think if I level one more time, then it should show. Out of feathers. I haven't actually seen any new nests. Also, I need to make myself a new bow now. I, th I think it should be orange quality. <sighs> oh. 
Also guys, I forgot to mention this, but I set the days to two hour days. So that we can actually experience the best of Alpha 16. Ooh, finally a bird's nest. 13. Eh, not good, not bad. But like I said, it's two hour days now in game because it's going to waste so much time waiting out the nights in the beginning. And we can have so much more fun if we have longer days. Ooh, vultures. I actually forgot about the vultures. Ooh, there's something there and something here. I'm all ready. No, I'm not hunted. But there's a damn snake again. Flashlight is a definite keep. And then this, we can make a bone shiv. Okay, cool. Wait, where's the other one we had? Nope, we have to do this. Take out the ammo. Scrap this one and equip the new one. And finally got spotted. I just hope it's just this guy, not also the vulture and snake. Give me your mining helmet. I'm so used to aiming in that it's weird not having the crosshairs. Yep, he saw me, damn it. Okay, one hit. It's actually awesome that they added the sound to it. Now you can actually tell if you've missed or not. Come on, don't swoop down on me. Okay, you bled out. They just need to fix the death animation for the snake and the vulture. At least we're getting a ton of feathers. Awesome. I wonder if they changed the place where the hub city spawns. Usually it's at zero zero, but it could just be a normal town now. If it is, we can start looting immediately and we can make a base. We just scrap these and then take this out. After 20 days, it should be respawned. If the plains biome is so dark from far away, I wonder how dark the, oh, just wanna switch this out. I wonder how dark the burnt biome is gonna be. If the plains biome from a distance already looks like the burnt biome. Okay, so this road leads all the way. Doesn't seem to be any buildings on this side. So there's no need to go that direction at the moment. Wait, but it's weird that it stops like that. So let's just quickly go. What was that? Something just flew past the screen. Chicken. Come on, come on, come on. I want to keep that chicken. Oh, he ran back into the grass. Damn it. Oh, it was a line of the game rendering that I saw. My tools and weapons are already getting stronger. And I'm already playing this game at warrior difficulty. Also, guys, um, they exchanged the max spawn and medium spawn things for spawn on and spawn off. Since you already faced the stream hordes and the blood moon hordes. So you can't actually technically set how many zombies you face. I wonder if warrior difficulty now, instead of difficulty, means the amount of zombies as well. Oh, I thought that was a chicken. Not gonna waste my ammo on food at the moment. See now, do I continue and perhaps find a town? Or do I continue and get screwed by a wolf? Let's just make some space. We need to keep our food open so that we can use the yucca fruit at the last ditch effort. I'm going to drop the mushroom spores and the glue for now. And then run. It's a shame you can't see if something has spotted you while running or while standing. You need to crouch. I just hope this isn't just another winding road. It actually leads somewhere. 
on Schizo's server you actually found two towns already. So there should be towns around here as well. Okay, so this just got a lot lighter. Over there it's all doom and gloom. Okay, so it just looked like it cuts off. I'm just rendering slowly since my graphics are set so high. I hope. Please tell me I'm right. Nope, it's the end. Now this is weird. I wonder why it just cuts off like this. This is so messed up. You come all this way for nothing. Okay, so let's see, where do we go next? We still have to follow the road to the hub. Wow, I'm already overheating. It's the fact that I'm wearing the mining armor as well. If you guys liked this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments or feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.